Hi and welcome to this edition of Back in History. In this edition, I bring to you a short story of the persons that have ruled Nigeria either as prime minister or president or military head of state or interim president. It all started in 1960 following the grant of independence to Nigeria by the British colonial administrators. At independence, Tafawa Balewa emerged as the prime minister of the new country while Namde Azikiwe emerged as the president. The office of president was basically ceremonial, but the main person in power whose responsibility it was to govern the country on a day-to-day basis was the prime minister. It is important to note here that Tafawa Balewa was the first and last prime minister of Nigeria. He was assassinated in the 1966 military coup that was led by Major Chukuma Kaduna Nzeogu. Following the assassination of the Prime Minister and some of his cabinet members, there was a vacuum in government and the vacuum needed to be filled. There was palpable fear in the country and no one knew who was to be killed next. Namde Azikiwe would have been the rightful person to succeed the Prime Minister, but he was on vacation at the Caribbean. So, the Senate President at the time, Mwafo Rizzo, had no option than to call on the most senior military officer at the time to take over the reins of power. That senior military officer was General Agui Ronsi. In essence, the second person to govern Nigeria was General Agui Ironsi. Ironsi was killed six months after in a military coup. He was on a state visit to the then western region of Nigeria and spent the night in the house of the governor of the region, Colonel Adekule Francis Fajui in Ibadan. In the early hours of the following morning, he was arrested by Major T.Y. Danjuma and driven to a forest at Lalukbon, where he was shot and killed. Fajui was also killed. With the vacuum created once again in governance, somebody needed to be appointed to head the country. That's how General Yakubu Gawan was appointed as the new military head of state. Gawan was later overthrown in 19, 1975. He was succeeded by General Motala Mohammed. Motala Mohammed thus became the fourth person to lead Nigeria as head of state. Motala Mohammed was later assassinated at a traffic jam in Lagos State by Colonel Bukasuka Dimka. And another vacuum was created in governance. Motala's vice president, Olusha Gunobasanjo, was then sworn in as the head of state. Obasanjo thus became the fifth person to head Nigeria as military head of state. Obasanjo handed over power to an elected president, Shegu Shagari, in 1979. Shagari thus became the sixth person to lead Nigeria as president. Shagari was later overthrown in a military coup and Major General Muhammad Buhari became the new head of state and the seventh person to lead Nigeria. In 1985, Buhari was overthrown by General Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida, the eighth person to lead Nigeria as president. Babangida ruled for eight years and stepped aside in 1993 following the annulment of the June 12 election. He hurriedly handed over power to Ernest Shenekon, who only served for 82 days as interim president of Nigeria. Shenekon was thus the ninth person to lead Nigeria. Shenekon was overthrown by General Sani Abacha in 1993. Abacha then ruled the country as military head of state till 1998 when he died in office. 
Abacha was thus the tenth person to lead Nigeria as head of state. Following Abacha's death, General Abdul Salami Abubakar was sworn in as the new head of state of Nigeria. He thus became the eleventh person to lead Nigeria in the number one office. He saw to the conduct of democratic elections and handed over power to Chief Olusegun Obasanjo in May 1999. This was Obasanjo's second coming, having already served as military head of state in 1978. Obasanjo thus became president number 12. The 13th president was Umoru Musa Yaradua. Yaradua died in office in 2010 and was succeeded by his deputy, Good luck, Ebele Jonathan. Jonathan thus became the 14th person to lead Nigeria. Jonathan handed over power in 2015 to President Muhammad Buhari. This was also Buhari's second coming, having first served as military head of state in 1983 to 1985. As civilian president, Buhari thus became the 15th president of Nigeria. From what has been stated so far, you can see that from the period of independence in 1960 till date 2022, a total of 15 persons have ruled Nigeria either as prime minister or military head of state or civilian president when counted together. Thanks for watching and do remember to share this video with friends and loved ones.